Okay, here we have a new adventure. These uh, air techs going to my friend Nori in Kure in Japan. And uh, what I've done this time, I have that letter repaired with a customs declaration by the post office. And then I went outside and made this little video clip um, putting this uh, air tag into the letterbox. And off it went. And um, I went back to the office and then waited till 5 o'clock because this is when the letterbox will be emptied. And uh, you could see there it was in my office and then now it's at the post office in Perak. And from there it was picked up and I follow it to Casuarina Shopping Center and then back by uh, Amy Johnson Drive to the... Uh, post center here in Vinelli, which is just uh, around the corner from my office. And from there, it went to the um, uh, mail center at the um, GAN in, in Darwin at the um, uh, East Arm Wharf. And then I had a little bit of a problem because it showed that the letter was at the uh, locomotive repair shop and it sat there for a while and I said something is wrong here that that can't be I mean that location is definitely wrong so I went there to have a look and of course the only thing there are the axles on that little piece of track and then I realized that was probably the last ping it could send and because it was inside the carriage it was not very accurate so um, next time it turned up it was in Adelaide. Yeah, and then from Adelaide I could follow it uh, being trucked uh, via the highways to Melbourne. And I was a bit surprised about that uh, way it took that it didn't go from Adelaide straight to Sydney because I assumed it will fly out from Sydney, which it at, at the end did. but. Yeah, that it went from Adelaide to Melbourne and then to Sydney, that was a little bit of a surprise to me. But I could follow it all the way up the Hume Highway. And um, that was um, quite a, <laughs> how should I say, that was quite a distance. And um, yeah, it was, it was easy to follow and it's interesting to see all the different stages the air tag takes when it's uh, when it's pinging, and um, I'm pretty sure it used the phone of the truck driver to ping, because I can't see anything else on the truck that would um, allow that ping to to have happened. But anyhow, we arrived um, at the end in Sydney, and then in Sydney it did its uh, usual thing and went. Uh, to the mail center, and from there it went to the uh, customs mail center, and then it went back to the airport. And at the airport, I could uh, figure out the Japan Airlines flight from gate 9, and sure enough, uh, the last ping I got from, was from there, and then I could follow then uh, the flight JL-52 all the way from uh, Sydney to Tokyo. Yeah, that was a 13-hour flight, I think. It's, it's quite a long flight. And it was, uh, how should I say that, eventless. It, what, what do you expect? Yeah, so um, that happened. And um, it arrived at Haneda Airport. And uh, from there it went um, to the cargo center and um, stayed there for a short while. And um, then it went to a mail distribution center around the airport. And then it went by truck to Hiroshima. And I could follow it all the way. And it's so interesting to see that the freeway is disappearing into tunnels, but that doesn't make any difference. I get the pings when it is in the tunnel. <laughs> How
How that works, I have no idea, but uh, there you go. I mean, it's interesting to see how that all fits together. And um, this um, freeway, it has quite a long distance at times in tunnels. So. Yeah, and then arrived, and it went in Hiroshima to the mail distribution center, stayed there overnight, and the next morning it uh, went to Kori, which is only, I think, 38 kilometers away from there, and arrived at the Kore um, post office. And um, the next thing is that uh, it arrived at friend's house, and uh, I even got a picture of the postie leaving his place um, after having delivered the letter. And then my friend Nori did a few things with the air tag, which I really appreciated. First, he shows it his beautifully manicured garden. It is so typical Japanese, that garden. He inherited from his father, and he keeps on the tradition. And then the doggy was carrying around the tag, and then Nori went on a walk, and then it got onto the car keyring. And Nori has this uh, special, beautiful uh, uh, car. Um, then he took it back to Hiroshima, I did a bit of a drive around, and I could uh, caught that driving around uh, from Kure back to Hiroshima. And um, so we got a little bit of sightseeing done while we were out there. And uh, here a few more pictures um, of um, the waterfront. And I'm not 100% sure what this uh, place is he took it to. It could be a um, waste processing plant, but it's beautifully uh, uh, done there with... Uh, with all the area you can walk through. And there's a bus depot, and behind the cement factory. And there's his car. Isn't it gorgeous? It is so well polished. Oh, it looks so great. Yeah, and then um, he went back home, and um, now it's on the way to back to Darwin. Okay, guys, see you later. Have fun. Bye-bye.